Hi, my name is Meredith Angel and I'm an eClinical Work Certified Implementation Specialist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert ICD-9 to 10 codes in case you have any old ICD-9 codes in your system. So from my office visit screen, I'm going to go into my patient for today. And the reason we want to convert these codes and not just leave them on our problem list is because we don't want them accidentally added to a progress note for the day and sent out to billing because those would not be covered by insurance. Over on my right chart panel for this patient, I know that I have ICD-9 codes as they're circled in red and nine. In this e version of eClinical Works, in order to update those nine codes, you can click into this ellipsis over on the right side to modify the list. Now, if this is something that has been added as a 10 code already, if I already had essential hypertension added as a 10 code as well, I could simply check off the box, remove it, and simply remove. Now, if it was something that was no longer applicable to the patient, you could remove it and add it to their medical history. But this one I'm saying I already have it added as a 10 code, so it's still on their problem list. I'm just going to remove this nine code. If it's something that's not on the problem list as a 10 code already, and you want to convert it because it is still an issue for the patient, you can check off the nine code, click ICD-10 migration, and it's going to open the converter with all of your nine codes that need to be converted. You click on the nine code that you would like to convert into a 10 code, and it gives you options over here on the right. So I'm going to say it's this code, and now that code has been updated to E05.90 for the 10. And then I'm going to click my other ICD-9 code and convert that as well. Once I've converted all of my nine codes on the left side, I can close the converter and my problem list is converted to all ICD-10 codes. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, please reach out to our training team.